Are, are you a wife? Huh? It's your wife. Come. You're pregnant? Huh? Yes. We need to, to pray for you. Because I was seeing the plan of the enemy against your union. Amen. Huh? Amen. Yes, sir. Because this woman, there's, a, there's some certain pains that she's experiencing. Yes, it's true. Huh? It's true. I'm talking about it here. Yes. Yeah, especially huh? even now when we were talking with the daddy, she was saying on the side there she's I'm hearing, some... Yes, I'm hearing pains on my sides. Yes. Yes. Huh? That's mm. true. So if we don't pray for you, you, you can end up going for an operation. That's the plan of the enemy. Mm. Because these things that I'm feeling here, they're very it's 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 serious. Yes. Huh? Yes, it's true. So this is the spirit that is coming from Zimbabwe. Yeah, because I come from Zimbabwe. You, on your side, it's like these people, they don't want you to be married. Because you people sometimes, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of arguments in the house. Yes, yes huh? that's true. true. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about, it's like money also becomes a problem. Yeah, it's true, man. Of huh? Yes. This is the spirit of Zimbabwe that if you're not careful, you can do a miscarriage. Because what I'm hearing here is it's something else. I'm, I'm hearing serious pains. Yes. And don't worry about this man because of the responsibility that he's having. You know he's supporting many people. Yes. Huh? Yes. Don't worry about that. Because I'm seeing you sending money home. Huh? Yes, it's true. To your father. It's true, sir. So I'll pray for you, and this, this mind of, a, of because th there's a lot of business that you're thinking about. Yes, it's true. Huh? It's true, sir. But there's nothing. There's not, at, at the present moment, I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, you're right. That's very correct. So, but I'll pray for you. When you go home, I'm telling you, everything is going to work out for you. Thank you, Jesus. Is this your first child? No, it's the second one. Huh? It's the no. second one. And, and what about you? You only have two children? Yes. Huh? Yes. We need to pray because it's like the, the way Satan wanted to do it in the beginning, it's like his plan, he wanted you to to marry and divorce and marry, divorce and marry and have children outside. So, but we need to thank God now because his plans has failed. And mama, I'm going to pray for you. These pains will go. Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen. And your marriage shall stand. Amen. You, no one, this spirit that is coming from Zimbabwe there, that is also trying to press you yes. when you are sleeping. Yeah. Listen, from today you're going to sleep. No more problems. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on. Come on. You are free. In the name of Jesus. You are free. Can you tell us your name and where you come from and also introduce the person next to you? Uh, my name is Nick Freninger and the person standing to my left is my wife, uh, Tito Freninger. Can you tell us the first prophecy that you got from Apostle JB and the confirmation? 
Um, whatever Apostle said to us, uh, we find that it's very true. And uh, the first prophecy is about my wife. As you can see, uh, as you can see, she's pregnant. And also I was talking about the, the severe pains that she's feeling normally on the sides of the stomach. So also for that, and then say God is going to heal her for that. And Mama, can you confirm what your husband is saying? Yeah, it's true because um, uh, most of the time I see few pains on the back of my side, each of them. So I confirm the prophets to be true. Yeah. And for how long have you been feeling like that? I think it's about uh, three months now. And when the post uh, and, and when the pains will start, how would you feel? What are the things that you were not able to do? Uh, when the pain starts, I won't, wouldn't be feeling comfortable. Sometimes I won't be able to sit properly or to sleep properly. So moving around, it becomes uh, difficult sometimes. Yeah. And also, after you saw Apostle J.B. Magadanisa, you had another opportunity of seeing Prophet Andres. Can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? Um, indeed, God works in a miracle way. Uh, the moment that we come to, to the prophet, uh, he also told us about the, the same thing that uh, Apostle told us, that uh, we are seeing the severe uh, pains on, on, on my wife's stomach, uh, especially on the sides, uh, which means we confirm as well to be true. And also he talked about to, to my business side that he's seeing nothing yet for now, but uh, he also is seeing that there's plans that we've got for business, but there's nothing that is moving. So he was saying God is going to do it for us for, for about that. Yes. And he also mentioned a spirit that is coming from your wife's uh, family's side. Can you tell us about that? Yes, that's true. Uh, that one I confirm it to be true because uh, even my wife, they said that pain also is caused by that because they're from Zimbabwe. So they said, uh, uh, I think that one, let my wife just say it more about herself. Let's just speak more. Yeah, I confirm it to be true because uh, sometimes we fought in our house. So the uh, prophet said that that spirit is coming from Zimbabwe, which is where I come from. Yeah, and that spirit again is is the same spirit that is causing the pains. Yeah. And how are you feeling that you did not only get a prophecy from Apostle J. B. Macarena, but also received another prophecy from Prophet Andres? Um, actually, we feel very happy, and also we just uh, thank God with uh, the grace that is here, even with uh, in charis, and uh, I think that's what I can say for now. We just want to thank the Lord Almighty God who did it for us today. And we saw that they also prayed for you. Can you tell us how are you feeling now? Yeah, I'm feeling very much. I'm just feeling light, and I believe that uh, my love will never be the same again. No, not at all. I'm not feeling the pain at all. Amen. Any words of encouragement to the viewers? Um, I just want to say to anyone who is watching right now, viewers at home, all over the, around the world, I'm saying uh, if you've got any challenge, whatever it may be from your studies, uh, comes to, to your marriage, comes to your business, whatever that you're seeing that there's no going, it's not going through, truly indeed, there might be a devil or a demon beside, behind that. So what I'm saying, I'm just encouraging you just to find time just to come to Charis, uh, meet my apostle J.B. Makanani, one on one, and your life will never be the same again. Because what I see here truly, God is at work indeed. We thank God for that in Jesus' name. Amen. I was looking at the situation around you. Hmm? Amen. And I saw that there is nothing to write home about. Yes, yeah, true. Hmm? Yes, yeah, true. You are trying all you can, your best. But all your, your efforts, they resolve, they result to nothing. Yeah, it's true. Hmm? It's true. Because I'm even seeing the way, where you live, where you are. Where do you stay? Uh, right now, I stay in Songwen. Because I saw a place which is not good. Yeah, it's true. I'm sorry to ask you, do you live in a shack? No, it's not a shack. It's a, it's a, it's a one room. It's a one room that yeah. you live in? Because they even even where you are living, but I'm seeing shakes all around you. Yeah, there are there's uh, some shakes there. Yeah. There are some shakes around yeah. you. Yeah. You you are working, but but your working is not bringing anything in. Yeah. Hmm? Because even now I'm um, I'm doing a business with someone. I'm partnering with someone. But there's no, I'm not seeing anything. Yeah. 
coming back to you. Yeah, it's true. Nothing comes back to you. Yeah. I want you to break this spirit because it's as if you are living in a cycle. Yeah, it's true. Huh? It's, it's everything you do, it ends here, right? It doesn't go far. It ends here right close to you. Yeah, it's true. Hmm? There is a circle that is a circle you that is drawing you in for you not to expand. So I want to pray with you so that we break the circle and you'll be able to expand. Hmm? Okay. Because you are a very brilliant person. Hmm? And whenever you are sitting down, you are always thinking of something to do. Yeah, it's true. But you started and it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. It ends right here. That's yeah, true. Are you married? Yeah, I'm not married, but actually I'm staying with someone. <coughs> My brother, you need to marry. Yeah, I'm planning, but what has happened? Sometimes when uh, I need to plan to go to and marry that man, and he just vanish. You need to marry because in your family you have a problem of marriage. Yeah, that's true. Nobody marries from your home. Yeah, it's true. Because I saw nobody married. That's why I asked you, are you married? Yeah, I've been my first brother. He's not married. He's not married. And he's older than you. Yeah, he's older than me. And he's not married. Yeah. So we need to break the circle. The circle was drawn by the spirit that comes from your family. For you people not to go anywhere in life. All of you to be a f to be failures. Yeah, hmm? it's true. None of you can point to what I've been doing. Even your elder brother, there's nothing that he can point and said, "This is what I've done." Yeah, it's true. Up until his age now. Yeah, because right now he's you know he's in, UK, in England, mm -hmm. but uh, there's nothing. He's in England, but there's nothing. There's to nothing. So I want to pray with you, so that this spirit can be broken. And you people can be able to live your life. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. You are free, my brother. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? Uh, my name is Trey Mostole. I came from Zimbabwe. Can you tell us the prophecy you received and also the confirmation? Uh, the prophecy I received, it was like that... Uh, my, in my life, there's nothing which is moving because I've been trying a lot of things. I've been working, but right now I was trying a business, but nothing is moving. Everything is it's like a, I'm in a, a limited position, a stagnant position. Yeah. Um, for how long have you been in a stagnant position? Uh, I can say it's, uh, some years. I think it's, uh, it's more, than, more than 10 years. Yeah, since I started to work, it's more than 10 years. And how was it affecting you? Actually, it was affecting me a lot because uh, even now, uh, it was difficult for me to find money to go and get married and money even to provide for my family, to send for my father. Because my father is back home in Zimbabwe, but actually right now, the money to, to give him, to buy something, uh, it, was, it was difficult for me to have that money. And since you received a word of prophecy, what is it that you believe that God is going to start doing in your life from today? Uh, what I believe is that uh, I think from now on, I know everything. I'm planning my business because I'm, I'm even planning for my business. I know it will be succeed and everything will go well. Everything will go well and I know I will have the money to go and, and marry. Words of encouragement to the viewers? Uh, what I need to say to the viewers is that uh, people, they must not fear to come to this place because there's a lot of grace here in this place. They must, they must come and worship in this church. There's a lot of grace. Are you a pastor? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You're a pastor? 
but your ears are blocking. Yeah, right. Huh? Correct. Correct, man of God. And the way your ears are blocking, it's like this, the, Satan wants to use this thing so that you must never hear the voice of God. Correct. Huh? Correct. Because I'm hearing you praying and you're crying each and every single day to hear from the Holy Spirit. Yes. But it's tough. Correct. Correct, man of God. Huh? Correct, man of God. I'll pray for you. I'm telling you, after we pray for you, you, you're going to start hearing from today. And you know they block sometimes. Huh? Yeah, correct. Most of the time they're blocked. Yeah, correct. Huh? Yeah, correct. So, so I, really I want to open them now. Okay. I open you today. <laughs> Be open. Lift him up. You're free. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? I'm coming from Israel. My name is Avishai and I'm coming from Israel. Can you tell us the prophecy you received from Apostle J.B. Makaranisa and the confirmation? Yeah, it's uh, give me confirmation for what I'm uh, come from and what I was looking for it, and you mean anointing me, and uh, his son also been prophesy over me, and he correct is what he said. It's confirmed with uh, I really uh, uh, was waiting uh, for this, so I'm happy for to to see the result uh, of me coming here to share his ministry. Prophet Andrews was talking about your ears. Can you tell us about that? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, the apostle talked about me to to be open uh, ear and to hear from God more to hear from God now, and uh, I get a big anointing, a big anointing, and uh, I, I'm still facing with this anointing by now, but. Uh, it's really a lot. I get a lot, and I really, I really want to encourage each one of the person uh, see me now to understand. Nothing is impossible for God. Make your way, and God, He will give you the solution. Because the apostle is really, really anointed man. It's really uh, honest man. He can uh, patience. He's really lovely man. I really love him, and you really welcome, and uh, you really come and join uh, church ministry. I really recommend. And when he prayed for you, what happened? I was completely shocked a few times. I was completely knocked out. I didn't know what's going with me. But from this moment, for uh, quite uh, some time, I cannot open my eyes to see because this anointing. I cannot really look to the, to the altar. When I will look at it, everything looks so white, white and bright. Like I cannot, I cannot open my eyes. It, it was too much for me uh, to look at it because uh, the brightness, the, 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 the presence of the Lord was so strong here. So I cannot really look at him. You know, I cannot look to the, this direction as all the time turning around for not to look at him, but it was too bright for me. And then uh, how was your experience? 
of today of meeting the man of God, Apostle J.P. Makananisa one-on-one, -on -one, and also the prophet today. Of course, in the beginning, by the time when you are waiting, so uh, a lot of things going in you, and of course, the uh, expectation and the work of the enemy, of course, uh, telling you all kinds of things and uh, try to tell you all kinds of things. But the moment, the time when the apostle is coming here, something in the air is changing, something in the atmosphere is changing, the environment get dressed something different. So from this moment and up, it's, it's the Holy Spirit take over. And from this moment, you cannot really know what's going on. You only know something is about to happen. So I really thank God for what I get today, for what I experienced today. It's above my, above my expectation, but it was close to my expectation, even more in that. So I'm thanking us to the church ministry and to Apostle Makananisa. Mama, there's a woman. You, stand up. Where you are coming from in Pretoria? Come. Where you, you are from Pretoria? Huh? You are from Pretoria? Yes. Can, can we fix the mic? It's fine. Yes, it's You're fine. You are from Pretoria? Yes. Ma Listen, I saw a woman. It's your next door. Amen. She's attending a church, ZCC. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. It's true, man of God. So now this woman, it's like she's the one, I'm sorry, I'll speak everything. It's like Amen. she's the one that is witching you. Jesus. You know, you people sometimes you don't talk to each other. Amen. Huh? Amen. Where's your husband? He's out there at, at the car. Let's Outside bring him. The car. Let's bring your husband. Baba. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I was speaking with Mama. Amen. Then I was hearing that I need to call you. Amen. Amen. So, this, this woman is long, she's been tormenting you people. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. True. I was telling Mama that I saw your next door. True. I saw a ZCC woman. Yes. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. That sometimes this woman she's not she's not speaking with you people. Yes. yes. Huh? Amen. Yes. It's true. Man. And now this thing it is it's like you are sick now. Yes. Because I was hearing some pains here. Yes. Amen. Huh? Yes. I have pains. Yes. And uh, and another thing is. It's like it's not long your job was finished. I don't know. Yes, my contract of employment expired at the end of February. When? But this year? Yes, but uh, the employer just kept quiet. I worked through March. They paid me. And even now I'm at work. Nothing is. They don't. Listen, tell. listen. This contract is like your contract has ended, but. They don't know it has ended. Amen. True. Huh? True. Because I'm seeing that you're supposed to be not, by this time, you're supposed to be home, not doing anything. Yes. Huh? Yes. But you're still working. I'm yes, still Lord, working. Still Let's say, this thing is frustrating this woman that I'm talking about. A ZCC woman. True. Mm. Let's kill this woman. Yes, Lord. Because even Mama now, she's sick. Mm. <sighs> And who are you? Hey. Huh? Hey! Who are you? You know me. Who? I said, who are you? Hey. So are you the one that is bringing problems to these people? I don't want them. I don't want them. Are, are you the one that is doing all these things in their family? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. For me. what? It's me. Huh? He killed my 
mother this one. He hey. killed your mother? Yeah. How did he kill your mother? Hey. I don't know. Huh? I don't know what, what prayer is that. I don't know. Hey. You don't know what? That prayer. And do you have she's anything to do with Lord, mommy Lord? I don't know. She's praying a lot, this woman. Hey. Huh? And she's troubling me. She's yeah. troubling me. Hey, you, you know what? Is, I don't know. It's for Shangu or Mamlu. I don't know. That no, we are staying in Lotus Garden. This is mine. It's mine. In Pretoria West. Yes. You don't have. It's like I'm seeing other people there. On the side of Mamlu. Lord. Is there anyone that you know from that side? We have uh, extended relatives. Huh? It's just extended relatives. All right, let's not speak further. <laughs> I destroy him. <laughs> Don't. You're free. So you never got a promise from a municipality? The promise was to extend my contract. Yeah, yeah, I, I, this thing that you're doing is in municipality. Yes, the city of Tswane. You're free. <laughs> Bring him. You're free and you're healed. Can you tell us your name and where you come from and also introduce the person next to you? I'm John Rashagane. I'm from uh, Lotus Garden in Pretoria. Next to me is my wife, Zelda. So can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? I received uh, the man of God prophesied about my job, uh, that he see me not working. And it is true, uh, the contract of employment ended in February, but because of the grace of this church, my employer, one of the biggest me uh, metro in Gauteng, forgot to terminate my contract. So as I'm speaking, I'm already on my second month working because of the grace of this house. Yes. Also, he spoke about the pain that I am experiencing, uh, which is also true. And for how long have you been experiencing this pain? Uh, I will say it's about uh, three years. Yes. And when the pain would start, what are the things that you were not able to do? Well, uh, because it's just on the waist, uh, it's not, uh, it was just a pain that comes and goes. It's not to say there's something that I won't do. Yeah, it was just a pain that will come and uh, go, keep on coming and going. Yes. And Mama, can you also tell us what is it that uh, was said unto your life and the confirmation? Uh, today, ntwe leng khalentse ke fela ke bona ka mahlo mare ke 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 sa ke ke fela ka ke ena ka ena gana mara ke bona gore today is a real thing so ke tla re ke le boga the degrees ya this church because today e e e confirmation mo gona eh so ke tla re ke 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 le boga modimo go wa 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 charis uh to me uh it's the things that I was always wishing to have in my life and I received the confirmation of what I was searching for. 
So I just thank God for his grace about what has happened to me today in Jesus' name. And Papa, when they prayed for you, what happened? Uh, that was, uh, I felt a, a push that I've never experienced in my life. Uh, I, will, I couldn't stand. For sure, for now, uh, I've been lying down for over 45 minutes because of the anointing of this house. And I believe, because uh, since I was saved in 2012, I've never ever f uh, uh, fell down. And this, uh, it has happened since I came to this church, Charis Missionary Church. And I believe that all evil spirits that has been planted in my body, in my family, is coming out. And I believe uh, I will come back with uh, great testimonies. And one of those is the one that I've just spoken about, the one of uh, any municipality that just forgot to, to terminate my contract. Yes. Any words of encouragement to the viewers? Uh, I'll say viewers all over the world, never for, uh, give up. Know that there are men of God like the men of God here in Charis. If you have challenges in your life, in your family, come to Charis Missionary Church in Tembisa, South Africa, and all your problems will be solved in Jesus' name. Amen. It's like all of you, you have the same problem. Where is your husband? I'm not married. The same thing that is happening to the sister I was talking to, it also happens to you. Hmm? Disappointment after disappointment after disappointment yes. after this. And now you have lost heart. Now you have lost because I'm seeing you giving hope. And you are saying to yourself, as long as I can live and work for my children, it's, it's fine. Yes. That's the plan of the devil for your life. That's not the plan of God for your life. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because the way it is now, I even saw that you, you don't even take care of yourself anymore. Amen. Mm? Amen. Can you fix this mess that you live in? Yes. Mm? Put yourself together again the way you used to. Where do you go to church? Yeah. Because I'm seeing the way you treat yourself now and the way you used to treat yourself. The same. If you if you treated yourself the way you used to treat yourself here in Charis, by now you should be having someone. So I want you to go back to that. Are you hearing me? Amen. God is going to bless you with somebody who will love you and take care of you. Amen. But break this cycle that says, I want to work for my children. Amen. Hmm? Because now you are even worried about your children. Yes. Hmm? Because even the finances of taking care of them, yes. it's too little for you. Yes. Hmm? Don't cry. Don't cry. God is going to do something for you. <laughs> Don't cry, my sister. There will be a promotion that's going to come your way. Amen. And God is going to increase the salary. Because the prayer that you also have is that you want to get out of this house that you're living in. Because it's, it's small. Hmm? Amen. Do you stay in a four roomed house? I stay with my mom. Yeah, I'm, I mean, do you stay in a four roomed house? It used to be an RDP. Yeah, it used to be an RDP because I'm seeing an RDP house yes. which has four rooms. Yes. It used to be an RDP and then you extended it. Yes. Where's your mom? Oh, it's you. They prayed for you. Yes. No problem. So you still stay with your parents? Yes. God is going to bless you. Amen. Hmm? Amen. But change your mindset. Amen. I'm giving you six months. 
your life will be a total different story. Amen. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Your parents will celebrate you. Amen. Hear me? Amen. In Jesus' name. in Jesus name please bring it in Jesus name you evil spirit out please don't allow her to sit down thank you out what are you doing to me huh eh? What are you doing to her? What was he? 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 What was Yes. Now, leave it now. Out, evil spirit. Now, leave it now. Now, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. My sister, you are free. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? Yeah, I'm Theodora Mongale. I come from El Pretoria. And can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? Uh, the prophecy I received is that uh, uh, I have a spiritual husband that's been tormenting me. And then that is why I've been having uh, disappointment after disappointment. Were you actually seeing this spiritual husband? I I see the signs because in my relationship there was nothing. There was nothing that is working. So uh, I could see like with those signs. Oh, this disappointment that you, you have been having due to the cause of a spiritual husband that was tormenting your life. Can you tell us how was this, uh, the disappointment, how were they affecting you they were starting to affect to affect me because uh, i started to uh, look down on myself thinking that uh, something is wrong with me maybe i'm not good enough so uh, uh, a woman of god uh, when she prophesied she said i must start to carry myself the way i used to uh, so i thank god that everything now i can see that god god is is, is favoring my life and i'm not all alone and now that they've prayed for you how are you feeling i'm free i can feel even light in my body yes yes any words of encouragement to the viewers uh, believe in god and then uh, trust in the lord no matter how situation y you are in just thank god for everything and and pray 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 changes things amen <laughs>